Hey, what's up guys, it's Way Howard here. Today I'm bringing you a uh, nuclear gameplay on the map Grind. I'm using a setup vector uh, with silencer and uh, laser laser sight. Yeah, and ha about halfway through the match, or halfway through the nuclear, about 15 kills in, I switched to a, uh, what is it called, the Peacekeeper with the red dot sight, because I had no ammo left in the vector, so I got the rest of the kills with that, and... I think a couple kills with another gun, uh, but most of the kills from the Vector and the Peacekeeper. Uh, they're both really good guns. Uh, Vector probably, one, along with uh, PDW and MSMC right now, uh, I think tied for the best gun because those guns just got a patch. And I've used them a little bit and they seem to be a little bit worse, not a whole lot worse, but I think Vector still matches up to them pretty good. So today I'm just going to be giving you a couple tips as the video goes along on how to get your first nuclear or another nuclear or whatever it is. So a nuclear just to start off, it's a 30 gun kill streak. So or or C4 kill streak or claymore equipment, but you just can't use your kill streaks uh, included in that 30 gun 30 kill streak, or else it would be be probably just a little bit too easy. So you have to get 30 gun kills in a row. Which means, if you're going to be just uh, rushing like crazy and just uh, drop shotting everybody one on one gunfight, and it's just, uh, even if you have really good gun skill, it's still going to be hard to get the nuclear if you're going to be uh, getting into a lot of one on one 50 50 engagements. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to be wanting to uh, get into gunfights where the gunfight is in your favor and you have a better chance to win that gunfight than the other person. Because what this will allow you to do is just. Uh, You'll win a, win a lot more gunfights, and the chance to get a nuclear will be a lot more easier. In second of all, uh, when you go for this nuclear, let's say you get like 20 kills in or something, and or 25, a lot of people choke when they get that high, because it's just like this, their palms are getting sweaty and they're just uh, they're getting nervous and everything. But you just gotta stay calm and you gotta play like you're playing before, because you got that 20 kill streak for a reason, because you're better than the other players and you're playing smart. So just continue the way you're playing, and then you should get the nuclear. But continue to play smart, don't be stupid, and maybe even just if you're on that like 20, 25 kill streak, and you really want to get your first nuclear, just sit back and let the kills come to you. Don't go out there rushing and just uh, getting so mad and frustrated because you didn't get the nuclear. Like in this gameplay, I was on a 29 kill streak, and then I just got the 30th, 30th uh, kill streak, and I didn't even know I got the nuclear, and then I died. And I got so mad because I thought I was one kill away from a nuclear. But when I after the game and when all the medals started popping up, I just uh, realized that uh, I actually did get the nuclear, which is uh, quite good. I got really relieved after that happened. But yeah, so anybody can get a nuclear. You just gotta play smart. You just gotta like a lot of people. You'll see anybody who can get a a bloodthirsty, or whatever. It's just getting like six bloodthirsties in a row. I know that sounds tough, but if you can get one bloodthirsty, if you can get on a kill streak, then you can get a nuclear. Uh, it's just like uh, MOAB and Mono for three, except a little bit tougher because you're getting six more kills with your gun. But yeah, as I said before, you just want gonna want to be getting gunfights. See right there, that's when I uh, died uh, and I got the nuclear. I didn't know that I got the nuclear, but I got mad. So, uh, but I actually did get it. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, just remember. Uh, getting gunfights that you're gonna win, you're most likely gonna win, and keep playing smart. It's all about playing smart. It's not about rushing around the whole entire map. Getting the, on the one-on-one -on -one gunfights where they can easily just uh, get a lucky kill on you, quick scope you, or whatever. Just play for your advantage, and whatever gun you have, play to that gun style. So right here, I was playing with SMG, so I, I most of the time got in a close-range gunfight one-on-one with a little bit of cover. And so they had just a little bit of target to shoot at, but I had their whole body to shoot at, which made me easily uh, win the gunfight. And don't be frustrated if you don't get a nuclear. It actually is a little bit hard, but uh, you're going to have to get uh, a mixture of a couple of things. Uh, first of all, you're going to have to obviously play smart, and second of all, you're going to have to get a little bit of luck. I've got a lot of brutal me medals, and a lot of them haven't changed into nuclear medals. Uh, it's pretty much because of like luck you're gonna have to get into a bad lobby with pretty bad people and you can't get any uh, uh bs that happens to you or else you're just gonna lose that gun streak 
just one thing I wanted to add, uh, through this gameplay you saw me just pretty much stay around the left side of the map and in that one sort of area, or like the two sorts of areas. So when you want to go for a nuclear metal, it'll uh, help you a lot if you just try to uh, control an area and keep that area to your own. So it was pretty much by a couple spawn points for domination on the other team. So uh, as soon as they spawned and tried to come over to my area, I could easily just uh, get in a gunfight with them and pick them off and help that go towards my nuclear kill streak. So I hope you guys like this commentary. Go out and get a nuclear and have a nice day. Peace out.